What's up party people and welcome back to my channel. So today is a pretty big video for me. I don't do videos like this very often, but today we are talking about my absolute favorite concealers of all time and they're all drugstore and affordable. I have six concealers here and I also have one bonus one at the end that's extremely cheap. It might be harder to find for some of you guys. So that's why I'm putting it in kind of like an extra instead of including it into the meat of the video. If you've watched me for literally any length of time, you'll probably realize that I'm not someone that recommends anything and everything. I have very high standards. I'm very picky. I'm pretty hard to please. And I try so much stuff all the time that at this point, I just, I can't do mediocre. I feel like I'm especially picky when it comes to trying new concealers because these are so good. I feel like I can truly trust these. These are holy grail go-tos. I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize for being redundant and saying the same kind of adjectives over and over again, because there's only so many ways you can describe how a concealer performs. So yeah, bear with me. So the first one is one that surprised me quite a bit because I've not heard literally one person ever talk about this. This is on Amazon. This is the Jula Beauty Cushion Complexion 5-in-1 Skin Perfector with Turmeric. This is so lightweight. It is so thin. It's buildable. It's one of those concealers that I feel like you could build up numerous layers and it would never look cakey. It would never look thick. I would say starting out, it's about a medium coverage if you don't do anything special. But what I like to do is one of two things. I'll either apply two layers and that will give me full coverage or what I like to do most of the time is just apply one layer. So I'll just actually sit it down my under eyes, just lay the product down, let that sit there for about a minute or so, kind of solidify. And then that gives me full coverage as well. So that's my preferred method, just letting the first layer dry. And it just maintains such a really nice, light, sheeny kind of satin finish, which is my personal favorite in any kind of face product. I feel like that works for pretty much every skin type because it's not more of one thing than another. It's so skin-like, it's hydrating. I wouldn't say it necessarily sets on its own. Some people are gonna find that they're gonna need a setting powder with this, but honestly, most days, I don't even use setting powder. Most days, I just do my little concealer hack. God, I feel like I share this in literally every video because it's truly a game-changing technique that I wish everyone would get on board with doing because it, it just, it changes the way your makeup looks. It changes the way it wears. And a lot of times it can eliminate the need to even use setting powder. So I'm gonna put that up here alongside the video because I do this pretty much every time I put my makeup on. So the next one is another one that I truly didn't expect anything from because I don't hear anyone ever talk about this. This is the number seven Lift and Illuminate Serum Concealer. I've talked about this at lengths, I feel like. The biggest downfall for this, I'll just go ahead and tell you, is that the shade selection is horrid. For example, on Target right now, this is the shade selection they are offering. It is a whopping four light shades. This is unacceptable. The definition of giving us nothing. See, I feel like this one has a little more set down than the Julep Beauty one. Like I don't have any setting powder on right now. It doesn't look shiny or glossy. Like it looks like I've applied setting powder. Definitely that satin kind of finish. It looks so flawless without looking makeup-y. Like it just looks airbrushed. But yeah, same thing. Starts out around, I would say like a light to medium coverage, but it's very, very buildable. It's an easy build. You can apply two layers to get full coverage or just like I said, let that first layer dry just for a minute or so and then you'll get better coverage that way too. That's kind of my preferred method with everything. I'm looking for concealers that give me that full coverage but I'm not willing to sacrifice the hydration. Like I don't want to use a matte concealer. Like That's not what I'm looking for. But again, so forgiving, so flexible with the movement that your under eye sees. Now I will say this is one that if I don't set it or if I don't do my concealing hack that it can crease a little bit but I feel like it's a reasonable amount of creasing. Like I've got some fine lines under my eyes so I expect it to happen a little bit. Like it's, it's unreasonable for me to expect something not to sit on my skin. Can we guess why I'm here? Nope, it's not because it's been discontinued. Even better, actually. It's been reformulated because brands suck. So initially I thought they were just changing the packaging because this is what it looks like now. I thought maybe they're taking this upon themselves to improve the shade selection. Maybe they're gonna do better. They're gonna they're gonna get one right by us, but nope. They did just as little as before. They have a whopping five shades. Fair, light, light, medium, medium, and truly medium. Because anything lighter than fair and darker than truly medium, we don't need to worry about them. So I will say 
devil's advocate here. They have this implication across the descriptions over all their websites that it's almost shade adjusting. It adjusts to your skin tone in a way. It says formulated to blend seamlessly into a range of skin tones. Now with my original formula, I will say it does have a grayish cast, like a grayish undertone starting out, which I found to be the case with every face product I've tried from number seven, like foundations, concealers, everything has been a grayish undertone. I don't know why they think that we're all halfway into the grave. But when it's all said and done, it does end up being a good match for me. Um, the old formula anyway. Um, so maybe there is some truth to that. But I will say I have seen reviews of people saying that the new formulation is not as good. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? So yeah, do with this what you will. Um, there are some shades still available on Target from the old formula. If you can find your shade, I think they have two or three available as well as the number seven website. But I've been looking for the new formula and the only place I've seen the entire shade range, <laughs> all five shades, is on Amazon as of February 13th. So I don't know. I am intrigued to see how this works as well, but I am pretty pissy about the fact that they chose, they made a conscious decision to not improve the skin range. The LA Girl HD Pro Concealer. This, you can find this pretty much anywhere. It's very accessible. This is one that found its way back to me just this past year. Like I used it a long time ago, loved it. I was obsessed with it so much so I was even gonna put it into my freelance makeup kit because I thought it was that good and that universal. I pulled it back out just to see if it was as good as what I remembered. And this is something that I feel like has truly kept up with the times. It's not any lower performing than anything else that comes out like in 2024. It has a bunch of shades. I have the shade natural. I will say my biggest pet peeve with this concealer line is that all the shades, whether you're looking at the swatches online or you're looking at it in store where you see all of them in the tubes, they all look peach, okay? They all look the exact same shade. And only until you actually get it on you and you apply it and you actually blend it out do you see the differentiation in the shades. So like this shade looks like it's number one too dark, but also just way too orange orange, way too peachy, but it works very, very well for me. So yeah, I recommend keeping your receipt, utilize return policies. They also have um, like whitening shades. So I actually have one. This is the shade Flat White Corrector and I use this all the time to lighten things up. So you can mix it in with your concealers, you can mix it into your foundations even. It's just a really handy little product to have on you. Full coverage, again, I'm looking for full coverage across the board, but it has more of a satin matte finish. Stays on extremely well. It just gives you that really nice velvet I wouldn't say moussey, but almost moussey airbrush kind of finish. Very, very smoothing of the under eye areas. I feel like it really just smooths over, you know, fine lines and crinkles and all that stuff. But yeah, I don't care how old this is. This truly has not lost its shine for me. Another one that I found my way back to just in this past year is this Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Concealer. The only downside is that looking on the Ulta website right now, um, they have taken away several shades. It used to go pretty light and pretty dark. And now there's maybe 10 shades and it's on sale for six bucks. Normally it's $10. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm gonna include it anyway because I don't care. But again, this one has kind of like a satin matte finish. It has its own setting ability. Full coverage, okay? One layer, one and done, full coverage. It's super, super long wearing. Again, it never cracks, never crepes, never dries up, never looks wonky on the under eyes. You see the common denominators of this, the, you see what I'm looking for here? Very, very smoothing. I feel like this gives you that super velvety airbrush kind of finish. To the touch, it feels so bougie. Like if you just were, if you were doing a blind application and someone said, okay, guess the price of this, you would not guess this to be 10 bucks. Truly performs like a high-end product. This next one is one that is the newest concealer to my collection. I would say I've been using this for at least six months now, maybe a little more. I don't know. I don't have any concept of time. And this is one that gave me that wow factor, mind blown, holy crap kind of reaction. It was that good. And that is the Koki Double Time Full Cover Concealer. So you can find this on the Koki website, obviously. I actually have a discount code with Koki. I don't promote it a whole lot. Like I don't promote Koki a whole lot, even though I have a discount code. So if I promote something, it's actually good. But yeah, you can get 25% off with my discount codes. I'll put it right here. But it's also always in the description box and it will be right next to the concealer. But you can also find this on Amazon. This is like a tart shape tape kind of concealer on steroids. Like this is its like older sister, she's distinguished. She's been around the block. Like she knows what she's doing. Full coverage right out the gate. You don't have to build this up. You don't have to let it sit. This is one that takes a dot, okay? Half a dot to a full dot to go 
all under my eyes, okay? My dark circles out here to clean up my eyeshadow and stuff. The spreadability of this, I'll compare it to like, I don't know, halfway melted butter. We need some new analogies in this community, okay? I don't know any other ones. And it has this beautiful high-end looking, milky smooth, peaches and cream kind of finish. Like it is so smoothing and unique. But once it sets, it sets, okay? It's not going anywhere, yeah. Can't recommend this enough. Then we have probably my most trusted one in my collection. I actually tested this out in my first waterproof makeup testing video. I'll link it up here. I'm pretty sure I did this in like 2022 or something like that. And I've been in love with it ever since. This is the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer. But yeah, full coverage with almost one go. I feel like there are some days that I have to do two light layers of this, but it's not one that again, looks cakey or anything. Whenever you start building it up, it layers extremely well on itself. This has more of that velvety soft matte finish compared to the other the ones I feel like it's less of a satin finish. It, it has less of that dewy look to it. So it's definitely more on the matte side of the spectrum. Definitely do my little concealer hack, but I feel like a lot of people won't have to rely on setting powder for this to actually set up and set down for the rest of the day. Like it is truly one of the most long wearing concealers that I've got. This is one that I will trust to put on in the summertime and like in the dead of summer when it's super hot, super humid. I'll be sweating. I'll have my sunglasses and stuff on. I trust this baby. But yeah, this swatch that I blended out has been on my hand for maybe two minutes. Minutes. It's already set down. It's transfer resistant. It's not rubbing off my fingers or anything. So yeah, Catrice True Skin High Cover, mind blowing. It's like seven bucks. It's like, it's like seven bucks. Now my bonus one. I found this last year when I did a full face of Dollar Tree makeup video. I'll put it up here. And it reminds me of something, but I can't figure out what. Like it's just, it's so familiar to me. This is the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid. Very long wearing. It doesn't crease. It doesn't creep into fine lines. It doesn't age my under eyes or anything. Very hydrating. Again, I would, I would consider this to be a natural skin lock kind of finish. It's more on that satiny side. And you can see a little bit of luminosity there. So yeah, if you go to Dollar Tree and happen to find your shade, or if you were on an extreme budget, like you can't spend more than a few dollars on a concealer or if you're someone like me like you're a makeup connoisseur and you just like to try to find new things no matter what the price is check this out so in the comments i'm gonna know what is your all-time favorite drugstore or affordable concealer share the wealth let's let's get in the comments and start a little discussion because i feel like there's some really good ones there's some really bad ones but i feel like concealers have come a very long way just keep in mind that this doesn't negate other favorites i've had in the past for example the maybelline instant age rewind dark circle eraser i will always love this concealer this will always be one of the best at the drugstore in my opinion talking about new things like new loves does negate my old favorites you know just this is the new generation of favorites give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're not already and turn the notification on to always see my stuff and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah.